Alright, I shall read this to myself. <laughs> to myself! <laughs> uh, Nerissa Ravencroft. Ex Elizabeth Rose Bloodbane. What does the ex mean? Tale of two forbidden lovers. Eh? Forbidden lovers! Heh, <laughs> weirdo. May the land born, may the lands 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 born. And then they kissed. We end. I'm not sure if I enjoyed that one. Number two. Uh, the first one was quite strange. Oh, yeah, quite strange indeed, right? Yeah. I'm gonna read number two. Hello, Nerissa Ravencroft. Donate? Ex. Have a book to oh. donate? I'm here to accept your donation. Elizabeth Rose Blood Flame, Volume 2. I've received this book. I believe it belongs in the library. Thank Would you. you like some beats? The maiden asked. Where did you get the this woman book? of feather and blue watched desperately ah. as her words were unheard by the Lady of Flame and Blood. Dejected. She watched as the lady rode off into the night, unaware of the maidens pining. Eyes looking at her, backside. Later that night, the Maiden of Feather and Blue rides to the castle, hearing rumors of corruption in her beloved kingdom. It is there she meets an entity of spectral sort. Who are you? The Maiden asked. <laughs> I'm the one filled with knowledge, the ghost replies. The Maiden inquires, if you have knowledge, may I ask you a question? Indeed, the ghost states. Ask any question of me and I shall gift it to you for finding me. The maiden pauses. Then, can you tell me if there is one destined for me? One that I may call my own? The ghost stays silent for a moment. In fact, I do know who it is that the red string of fate has tied to your hand. Tell me, the maiden desperately cries. I'm so lonely. The ghost replies. And then they kissed again. I'm not sure of the second one either. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I must I must away. There's something happening, but I need you to turn the books back in. Okay. Uh, where do I done, turn them in? Uh, to me. You have to give them back. Oh, give them back. Oh, when you're done. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, I'm on the last book. Yes, uh, enjoy yourself. I. Nerissa Ravencroft, X Elizabeth Rose Bloodflame, Volume 3. Why does this princess have too much time on her hands? Gripping her belly, the maiden of feather and blue watches as the former father of her child stalks another. Ah. Please hurry to the bathhouse. Has she forgotten me? Of the bond we shared? Of that night? When hands were held and life was created? Pain throbs against her. <laughs> awesome! What is this feeling? Like a thousand needles prick at my heart endlessly. Why is the Lady of Flame and Blood looking at her like that? Oh, how I wish I was the wench of souls and death. Huh? I see how my lady looks at her. She used to look at me like that. What? Who is she on about? Lady of Death? A soft breeze passes by and the Maiden of Feather and Blue catches the scent. Her scent. It is that of the Lady of Flame and Blood that stands before her, unaware of her presence as her eyes fill with tears. She begins to but to turn. She begins to turn away, giving up all hope from that which she has lost. Wait! She hears a voice behind her. As she turns back, her eyes grow wide. She looks upon the Lady of Flame and Blood in front of her. What? What is it? She asks in a shaky voice. The Lady of Flame and Blood suddenly charges at the Maiden of Feather and Blue, pinning her against the wall. <gasps> Cheeks flush pink. She slowly gazes into the eyes of the Lady of Blood and Flame, staring intently at her. So suck, suck. The Maiden's blush grows. 
Let's burn it! Let's burn it! Let's burn it! And then... And then they held hands again. Puh. The Lady of Feather was uh, quite a uh, nice character. All right, give huh. me the books, quickly. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, so I... I don't have a lot of time to put them back on the shelf. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I like the, the lady, the blue feather lady. She seems cool. I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad to hear that you think that. I, I liked, I liked the, yeah, it, it was quite nice. It was quite nice. Thank you. 